Hey YouTube, time for a fish room update. June 2017, stay tuned. Alright, this is Brian coming at you with a fish room update for June of 2017. Um, we'll start upstairs here with uh, Cheeto and the uh, Clown Loach Motel. Um, everything's going good in here. Not a ton to say about it other than it's really fun to always uh, hang out with Cheeto while I'm working up here in my office. Um, he's doing real well, still full of energy. Um, full of energy and attitude and just an awesome looking fish. The loaches are all doing really good too. Bircher here is doing decent as well. Starting to grow a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that's really all to say about that tank. There's not a whole lot going on. The planted tank behind me is still in the process of probably transitioning out of it. Um, I've taken most of the shrimp out of there and put them downstairs and I've been selling off the Monte Carlo and the Fissadens and um, be taking this down here real soon just got to find the time we'll head downstairs as you saw if you follow my channel the discus tank is no longer here and I'm working on building a reef tank. Um, check out those videos separately if you want to see updates on that build. So Colossus is doing real well here. This is the 9.9 uh, .9 Magna, Magma I should say, flower horn. He's really had a growth spurt lately. Really noticed some growth with him. It's a pleco too in there but uh, yeah he's doing real good he's hungry right now hasn't had his food yet today coloration on him is just phenomenal just really happy with this fish as I've said a million times before in my videos I've got this driftwood in here just because I needed a tank to keep it wet this came out of the discus tank if you remember um, until I decide what I want to do with it. I didn't want it to dry out and I have to go through with water logging again, so I don't know that he likes it in there. I don't like it in there, but uh, for now it's just going to sit in that tank. Uh, down below is uh, this Midas, Amphilophus citronellum. Sorry about the algae on the glass there. Females kind of back hiding in the corner there. Still haven't had any breeding with these guys. I don't expect any prior owner. I think I, I don't even know how long I've had this fish now. Over a year, maybe two. And uh, the prior owner said they didn't breed either. So, but yeah, he's doing real well. Right here are the Redis Latest group. These guys are officially for sale. Email me if you are looking to buy this. I'm going to sell them as a whole group. And um, they're quality fish. Um, not much else to say. There's six of them total. I'm going to sell them as a group. Ship Delta Cargo only. My email will be in the description below the video. So hit me up if you're looking to buy this group of Redis Latest. They're just a quality fish. Um, they come from my pair that's over there. We'll talk about them later. Well, let's just go over and look at them right now. How about that? Here's the male. Female's down in the tube right now. Her tube dropped here this past week. They haven't done anything as far as spawning goes, but um, you know, it'll happen with her, but they just never seem to work it out and spawn. But this guy is just a beast. So, you buy that uh, group of six Redis latest, there's a real good chance you're going to get uh, something that look as good as these guys. If she came out. She's got a few scratches on her lately. It looks like they've been playing a little rough. 
down below is the, um, sorry, I'm trying to look for the fish and, and talk at the same time. The uh, Hadiensis, one of the Hadiensis pairs, you see the male is hiding right now for whatever reason. There's a couple of heterospilus in here as well, just kind of as dithers. Here's the female in her tube. And there's still a few leftover fry in here. Pulled some fry and I'm gonna grow them out hopefully, so I might have some available at some point. Since they're not gonna really come out, I'm not gonna spend too much time. I don't know, he's going after something back there, I think, Chris is hiding. There he is. The other Hadiensis pair is over here. They've also still got a few fry left. I pulled some. Thinking about selling one of these pairs, but I'm not 100% sure yet. <coughs> It'd have to be a heck of a be a heck of a deal and go to a good home, but um, I'm thinking I may. I'm not sure which pair it would be. They've both been good pairs. They've both been pro they've both produced well, and they both are great looking. So I'm just not sure yet. Um, up here are the motas. They recently spawned. Here's the female, and she's got some uh, free swimmers that have just kind of started yesterday free swimming in the tent in the bar barrel <laughs> in the flower pot back there. Sorry that the. Uh, lighting and stuff isn't the greatest but you can see a few of them in there being real protective like she said here's the male i don't know that that tail's ever going to heal up kind of a bum deal but still a great fish and uh you know we'll just continue to see but it's been many months now and it just hasn't healed up Then we've got the uh, magma. You know what? I just realized I called the other flower horn a 9.9 magma. It's a magma. It's a 9.9 confa. Sorry. That's a confa. This is a magma. Red magma. Doing well also. Full of piss and vinegar, as they say. Hard to ever get a nice profile picture or video of him, because well, he's doing it now, so that's good, except that stupid light's in the background. <clears throat> he likes to come at you face, face or head on when, when you've got a camera out. Down here is the final Hadiensis pair. These are an unproven pair. Um, but they've been doing a lot of this lately, so I'm thinking there may be some potential spawning coming. I'm not sure. But uh, this pair, this, I'm not going to call them a pair because they haven't bred. I vented them, and to me, it looks like it's a male and a female. But um, anyway, I'm going to sell these for sure, so if you're interested in these, email me. Um, I'm ready to sell them at this point. Nice humps on both of their heads. This appears to be the male, according to the coloration and the vent, and, and female here. But I can't 100% guarantee that, but that's the way it looked to me. Um, We'll take a look at the Umbi pair right here. Here is Optimus. He's doing great. Active as always. Nice attitude on him. She's got a little scar on her head. It's 
Matrix. She's hanging out in the tube right now, so we're not going to see much of her. Down below is the Dovi pair. Here's Orion. <laughs> Always going after people on the other side of the glass. Here's this female Artemis. They had a recent spawn. I think, I don't know if I caught, covered that in the last video or not. They may have been like just eggs or um, wigglers at the time, but they had a big cloud of hundreds of them, but within like a day or two, they ate most of them this time, or most of them died, I'm not quite sure, but you can see a few swimming around near her, some other various ones in the tank. So that's a bummer that uh, usually they're really good and, and you can, they'll keep frying with them for a long time. And to the point where you can pull them out and that type of thing too and grow them out. But anyway, that's about it for now. I'm not gonna bother going through the fry racks over here, but just got some different fry going like usual. Um, but yeah, for now that's it for June. That's the that's the fish room update. I'll leave you with some more shots of uh, Colossus here. Um, thanks for everybody that does subscribe to these videos and that watches them and comments and that type of thing. Um, you can definitely follow me on social media. I've got a Brian's Fish Tank Facebook page, um, a uh, Instagram account, which is kind of my old handle still, which was Dolly VH. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, later.